Hey guys, uh, I'm Ethan Moore from Stockroom Supply. I'm here with Eric from Fretwood Mac, and he brought in this dragonfly that you scroll sawed. I did. Um, and oh, I did. And you did, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what kind of wood is this? Uh, it's called Black Limba. Black Limba. And if you guys look at that there, you can see the lot of detail. How long did that take you? Uh, it's about three and a half, four hours worth of work. So three and a half, four hours worth of work. Now, if we look at this, naturally with a scroll saw, on the bottom you'll have maybe a little bit of tarot, things like that, or potentially um, you may want to sand that after you've cut that. Now, there's a lot of work involved here. This is a very fragile piece. A lot of guys are leery of sanding something like that because it's fragile. You could break it really easy. Uh, but one thing that you can use, the Flat Master, because it can be such a fine sand or with a fine grit, you can sand things like this without having to worry about damaging anything. Um, so if you want to get rid of all that chip out on the back, you can do that, um, which can be challenging to do even by hand. Um, so I'll show you guys how to do that. Pretty much the same as anything else, but I'm just going to try to be very gentle when I'm pushing the wood across here. So I got a 180 grit on there now, so I'm going to sand this back side here where all that kind of tear out is from the scroll saw. All right, so watch this here. <laughs> So you can see what I've done there. There might be one little section over here. I should maybe do a couple more passes just to get rid of it. But um, yeah, I'm a lot better than I was to start with. So without breaking anything, we've got that sand in there. So even that little leg that's very, very fragile, we haven't damaged it. Um, which is nice, uh, being able to sand that even after you scroll sock at it. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Eric, for bringing this in there.